Hi there folks, a um, bit of a different video today. This is uh, one of the airfield lights that I've um, recovered. And as you can see, it's uh, a nice clean metal holder compared to what they used to be like. Um, but what I'm wanting to do is that I actually managed to extract this glass out of its holder. Now these are uh, the made by Pyrex and normally they are broken. I've got one here which it's intact at the moment but when you look inside there's actually a crack all the way around it and that's a good one. But that really is a golden gem and my plan for today is to make a mold of this and then I can attempt to actually cast some new ones in um, clear resin which would allow a few more of these to be restored and uh, maybe brought back to life. So what we're going to need is, I've dug this out, I used to do some casting many years ago and mould making. So we've got some, if you can see that on camera, Polycraft General Purpose Silicon Rubber and the, uh, the stuff to make it pink and go hard not that rubber goes hard but you know what I mean uh, I also I'm going to have to use some uh, Lego blocks to actually build around this and it will be a two part mould so let's get some stuff together and uh, make a start Right folks, this stuff is mixed, I think it's a 10 to 1 ratio. Um, yeah. So what we'll do is we'll mix in the two parts, give it a mix and pour it into the mould. That's if this stuff's still actually uh, So actually works. I'm gonna probably not use this for a, a few years. Let's, um, let's just give it some agitation. Okay, this may take a while. Show sure how much I'm going to need. I'm saying nothing. Stop laughing at the back. I may need some more, um, more of this. I don't remember it being this thick. I'll come back when the uh, when it's finished. Right, Let's give that a shake just in case. Thirty-six is the magic number. There we go. Oops, thirty-seven. Possibly go wrong. Okay, get the green stick that came with it. And we'll give this a mix. Oh, that is thick. Again, this might take a while. Yeah. 
I will mix this up and then you can come back and walk. Well, this is um, thick and pink, a bit like pink custard. And I think we're about there. So, have a look. Now, this at the moment will be full of bubbles. And the good thing is you don't have to clean this off this spatula it just peels off once it's um, set what I'm going to do with it right now I'm not sure let's find somewhere to put it I'll find something to put it in <coughs> Alright folks, I don't know if you can see that, it's been sat just a minute, there's a lot of bubbles coming out. And what I need to do is to steadily pour it into the mould. Bring you a bit closer. Right. What could possibly go wrong folks? Let's try the first half of the mould. This will take overnight. So tomorrow night I shall uh, come and check, make sure it's um, gone off. And then we can start making part two of the mould. I'm trying to let it go in gently so it doesn't uh, create air pockets. I'm probably doing it all wrong, but there you go. I'm sure you all know different ways of making moulds. I just use this method for doing some uh, model kit parts. The kit didn't come with the bits I wanted so I made them. And this is a similar method of making a two part mould that I used. I'll shut up now. Get this pink custard in. Can't see anything leaking out yet which is good. Never mixed enough though, that's the question. Well, this um, this pink silicon mould material has it's still a bit tacky. However, it should be off enough for me to turn this over now and remove the clay. Coming off already, folks. 
So this should come away. I'm going steady because I don't want it to uh, upset things. It hasn't quite gone off. Right. That's the first part. Now I need to dig that bit out. Right, what can I use? Okay, let's um, see if I can dig this clay out. I want this to come out and uh, leave the glass dome in there. Normally I would use plasticine, which obviously doesn't um, go off. This is definitely a lot stiffer than when I used it to uh, when I first started. Gently trying to get this out without unseating the glass. good to go there. You can see the glass in there and that's one half of the mould. And now we need to extend this wall up and put the second uh, seven lots of pink stuff in. Okay next I'm just going to make some vent tubes. These will actually protrude through the top part of the mould and let air out. So I'm just going to use a little bit of uh, a little bit of super glue. And what I shall do is I'll stick four of these um, pieces of plastic on, and I can continue with the second part of the mold. Okay, that's the four vent pipes now uh, glued on. So what I need to do now is build up the sides, and build these a little bit taller, and mix some more pink stuff. One thing I am gonna do, folks, now normally I would use either some silicon spray or some um, Vaseline and that's just to try and make it so the, the two halves of the mould don't stick together which can be a thing so I'm actually just using a bit of um, WD-40 which should create a bit of an oily film between the two surfaces or it'll just mess it up completely I would just like to point out this is my method of making moulds and there are other ways probably better ways 
And I'd just like to point out I'm kind of using substandard materials because these have been left for a few years now unused. Let's definitely say the uh, the pink stuff's had had its day. Right. Now what we need to do is get some more Lego blocks and build a wall. So there we have it folks, that's those built up, yes I did notice that there's a little bit loose, however all it has to do is just sit there while the, <coughs> the pink um, silicon stuff goes off, so let's mix up some more pink stuff. Okay, here we go. The mix is it's um, a ten to one ratio. I'm going to say this this mold is just a test run to see if it's a feasibility to actually cast these in resin. Um, if it is going to work and work well, <coughs> I will probably make a new mould with some fresh pink silicon stuff. And if this is very, very slow. Very slow. about when it's time for the hardener. Okay so I've added some hardener. Just mixing that in. I didn't really want to fill it full of air but it's that thick, it's a bit unavoidable. Right, I'll just finish mixing this off and then we'll uh, pour it in. It's definitely seen better days. I have a feeling the results might not be as good as we were hoping for. There's a lot of bubbles coming out of there already. Right. So, let's begin. Okay, let's pull. There it goes. I just hope I've mixed enough. I should have said that there was enough left. Can we fill the glass? Pants up without any big bubbles. Is there going to be enough? Such a cliffhanger.
Well, that's the pink stuff in. I'll be honest, it's not quite as deep as I would have liked. However, it may work. So, we'll wait 24 hours. Hopefully this stuff will have firmed up enough to... Uh, we need to take the bricks away, split the mould, and remove the glass. And hopefully all these air bubbles will uh, rise to the top and bugger off. So, see you in 24 hours. Right folks been another 24 hours and the pink stuff is um, it's a bit tacky but I just want to get all the blocks off it now and that will allow a bit more air just to get to it and hopefully it will be ready to use so let's get rid of some of these blocks Don't know how well this stuff will set. It's definitely seen better days. Where do you come back when I've got all these off? Well, that's 10 minutes of my life I will get back. Well, there we have it, folks. One big block of pink. Now, all I need to do is to actually separate the two halves of the mould, remove the glass and the vent pipes, and we can start casting. Well, folks, a bit of a failure. Um, I've now found out WD-40 doesn't create a non-stick seal between the two um, halves of the silicon. Normally I would use Vaseline, which I've had good results with in the past. But this time I've, I've failed and it all kind of moulded together. So I, um, I cut some off with a knife. And then carefully... Um, dug into it no laughing at the back please so as you can see we have technically a mold now that should have been like that but sadly it isn't now this was a trial run with old materials that were no good um the principle will work it seems to have picked up all the detail. The problem is, it's uh, it's not ideal. So, as much as it's no good, I'm very tempted to uh, maybe just throw some resin in it, because the shape's there. It's, it's got the shape, um, and just see what comes out what could possibly go wrong right folks I've just borrowed this uh, casting resin from my daughter um, to clear epoxy resin mix it equal quantities so I shall mix them up pour it in the mould and put the lid on the second half of the mould and see what happens Now this resin is new, so we shouldn't have any problems with it, unless I make a balls of um, mixing it. Mm. 
Not even sure how much to mix. I haven't worked out the volume. Ah, you messy oink. Well, that's the resin. Obviously, you don't want to mix the lids up on these, otherwise, it will cure in the uh, in the bottle. I'd just like to point out I'm no <clears throat> casting expert. I've done a little bit for model making, which I've had some good results. And well, there's a lot I don't know. Sometimes it's a case of just having a go. And there we are, equal amounts. I shall do is pour them into this. Give it a mix. It does say mix for about three minutes. I'm sure if I'm going to have enough. Seems like I don't. Right, I'm kind of mixing stick. One supply. This little kit does actually come complete with uh, I think everything you need. Except they need to get into the little packet. Oh come on, you big fingered idiot! a mix. Why do you come back when I finish mixing this? Well I'd say that looks mixed but it's a bit hard to tell when both components are clear. I can see a lot of bubbles in it though. Which is a bit of a concern. However, it does seem to be fizzing like lemonade, so that might be good. You can see it's uh, a bit like lemonade. We're clearing, so I'm going to pour this in the mould. I'm going to say we might have enough here. Just going on the fact that's about half full. And of course, we need to fit that into it. Stop laughing at the back. Right. I don't know if you can see. 
There's some bubbles in there which I'm just going to let go up to the top for a moment. And if you can see in there guys, just letting some of those bubbles come up. And then we'll put the plug in. Oh, did I say that out? Still quite a few bubbles coming up folks. It's actually f almost fizzing like lemonade. Now this has a 40 minute work time I do believe. And then it takes 24 hours to, uh, to fully cure. <coughs> so, hopefully these, uh, these bubbles will reduce. And then we can uh, hopefully get a good cast. Mm, that seems to be slowing down. Okay, a moment of truth, folks. <clears throat> now, as I said, this and that should have been attached, so it's not ideal. I'm just hoping that it kind of floats. And then sits in place. I'm gonna say I've probably not put enough resin in that. Even though I can see Resin up at the holes. It's there. I don't push that any deeper in because of my mess up of the mould. Okay folks, I'm not happy with the amount in there. It's probably going to open it up to a lot of air bubbles. So I'm just going to pour some more in there. Now that's more what I wanted to see. Well folks, it's uh, been 24 hours. Or thereabouts, and as you can see, this stuff has um, gone off, or at least enough to get this uh, out of the mould. So, what I'm going to do is try and pick it out and see what result we've got. I don't expect much. Um, I made a bit of a mess up of the mould. Uh, I know there was air bubbles in it and you can see on the top of the rubber there's air bubbles in there so let's find out folks right let's just don't know what the best way to do this is whether to pull the outer from the inner or the inner from the outer Ooh. have we got underneath we definitely have something going on inside Hmm. 
it could be full of bubbles. Let's take a look, folks. So far, so good. Let's see if we can uh, extract the pink. This um, this wouldn't be like this if the mould had worked correct, but despite the failure of the mould making, this is still a little bit chewy. I think chewy is a good term for it. You can see the remains of the vent pipes. Which had they worked, had the mould worked, would have done the job. So if I can Be careful, I don't want to distort the actual dome. But it would appear I've got my plug stuck. Jesus. Well, there we have it, folks. Want a bit of cleaning up compared to the original. I think it's safe to say that uh, replicating these in uh, resin is doable. Anyway, thanks for uh, watching, uh, liking, and subscribing. All that jazz. Catch you soon, folks.